Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and start off this vocabulary review list. You see that we've got four different little word parts here. F-A-C, F-I-C, F-E-C-T, and F-I-C-T, or F-I-C-T. Um, so all of these have to do with making or doing something. Um, and you'll notice, uh, you'll notice, I don't know, I don't feel like this is a really super hard list. Um, but I want to make sure that we make a connection between these two words because these are two words that are um, oftentimes kind of flipped around within people's writing. Um, it's kind of one of those things that if you can figure out the rules of how to apply this correctly, it makes you just look that more, um, that, that much better of a writer because you understand that. Um, at any rate though, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Our first word is affect. Affect with an A, okay, is a verb. So it's you have to do something to influence or make a change in something. So, so this is a doing word, okay? I don't want you to forget that, a doing word. Then you've got effect down here. I'm just going to go right down there, the one with an E. That one is a noun, so that's like an outcome, okay? The result of something. Um, this is... Uh, <coughs> what happens because of the affect, okay, with the A, with that starts with the A. Um, so just remember that affect is the verb when you're actually doing something to make a change or influence something, and then the effect with the E is actually the outcome or the result of whatever that was. Um, I'm going to go back up here to benefactor. Benefactor is a noun. It is a person who gives aid, especially financial aid. Um, a lot of times um, a, a um, museum will have a benefactor, so somebody who, who really wants to support the arts and they leave money behind when they die to a museum or uh, some, some historical site. That happens all the time. Um, and they just basically are leaving money behind to support that, whatever they're trying to keep going, whatever they're, whatever they're giving the money to. Um, the next one is deface. Deface is a verb. It means to disfigure, to ruin the surface. A lot of times um, graffiti is considered defacing um, property. So you that would be a good one to think about is graffiti there. I'll write that down to remind us. The next one is defect. A defect is, uh, is this is actually the verb, so we're not talking about a noun, a defect, like a product defect, where something is wrong with something you bought. This is a verb, so defect is something that people do when they abandon a position or association. A lot of times in the military, um, somebody who leaves the military without being discharged um, is considered to be defecting because um, they left uh, and left their post or their position within the military. Um, skipping effect because we already did that one. The next one is facilitate. Facilitate is another verb here. So this means to make easier. So um, a lot of times like when you guys are having your um, your your book groups in class, um, Mrs. Walsh, me, is facilitating. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of going around and I'm coaching, I'm watching, I'm coaching to make sure that people are staying on topic and stuff. So I'm trying to make those things happen easier um, within the room. Uh, the next one is factor. Factor is something that actively contributes to an accomplishment. So like you could say that getting a good night's sleep and eating a good breakfast are factors in how well you are ready for your day, for school each day, for learning. Um, it also might be like, you know, the stress that you're under might be a factor in how you're functioning at school every day. So just those different elements that contribute to something. This this actively contributes is huge there. The next one is factory. Factory, I think we all know, um, is just a building or a group of buildings where something is made. Um, so like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, he goes to the place where all the candy is made. Charlie Bucket there. 
Uh, the next one is infect. Infect is uh, basically to contaminate or to make ill. Could also be to be corrupt because um, you could infect like a computer or something like that. You corrupt the data on it. But infect means that you are making it bad. Like you're making it going wrong or you're making it sick. Um, and the last one there is manufacture. Manufacture is another verb on this list, and it means to make, cre create, or produce. So if you're manufacturing something, it means that you are making multiple copies of something or you're putting something together. All right, guys, there you go. Look at, he's got a little waterfall factory there. He's manufacturing water. That's kind of weird, right? All right, anywho, go ahead and make sure you look over these words. You got any questions, just let me know, and good luck on your quiz. All right, love you, bye. Mwah.